Now the ultimate goals of these training programs is to have you in peak condition for when the season starts. And to do that, I offer several training program regimes that incorporate high school and college punters and kickers, and the off-season and the in-season. For example, here's, here's the manuals for the punting and kicking off-season programs that you would follow if you were doing the punting and training program that I've written. And each day is written out for you. In other words, you can open it to February 12th or April 15th, and it tells you exactly what you should do for running that day, for kicking or punting that day, and for lifting weights that day. If you're not certain of how to do it, you can go to my website, www.billrennerfootball.com, and hit the video section. And the videos are there, and they will show you how to do the kicking and punting drills that I describe in these manuals. Once you've done the off-season program, you can then carry that through and you can do the in-season program. So there's another separate book and that charts and maps out for you every practice throughout the season. So you can follow the plan and have the same workout and training program to be the best you can be from the off-season and the in-season. It all flows together in, in a nice package that will enable you to know that you're doing the right things to be the best punter and kicker you can be, but also that you're evaluating yourself as you go so you can constantly monitor your strengths and weaknesses and make yourself better. Now the question should be, well, why should we follow your program? I mean, what experience do you have? Um, what makes yours different and unique? Well, the first thing is, is I am a coach. I'm a football coach. I've been coaching high school football for 25 years. I've been a head coach for 20 years. So the, the information and the punting and kicking training, I've actually done with my punters and kickers. And they've been very successful. My personal punters and kickers have gone on to play and earn scholarships to Penn State, Pitt, NC State, West Virginia. And I have a punter that played for me that's the punter for the Green Bay Packers now, Jeremy Capinos. So this isn't just some type of camp um, information that hasn't been used because if those guys didn't perform well then I didn't win as a head coach. So the training program has been tried, tested, and proven. It's just now been put into a packet that's enabled other people to benefit from it. I've also had 25 years of owning kicking camps. I've been the owner and operator of fourth down sports and fourth down kicking camps and we've helped thousands of young high school players We've helped hundreds of college players perform better and learn how to train and, and do the skills of punting and kicking better. We've also helped players coming out of college prepare for the pros. And now we held a pro training camp in order to tell them and teach them what's the difference between how I punt and kick in college and how I need to punt and kick in the NFL. I've also wrote training programs for, for high school, college, pro players, and pro teams. I consult with pro teams, pro coaches, college teams, college coaches, and our organization has actually been contracted to go in and run kicking camps for colleges. So my experience is, is these books that I have for you, these training programs, they're, nothing, they're, they're tried and tested over a period of 25 years. And now what I've done is put them in a package so that you can have the benefit of that experience, so that you can do the same kind of training that the other people that have come before you and have had successful careers and have reached their full potential. Once again, we, I have off-season and I have in-season programs and I just recently finished a college spring practice training program. So if you're a college player, what do you need to do to improve and, and how do you use the springtime, those 15 practices, to make sure that you can be, improve and be better? So I've written a program for that. For example, one consideration with the college spring practice training program is you need to start one month out prior to spring practice and do some skill training, do some swings on air, and get your body ready to be able to swing at a football. If you wait and just start kicking a football or punting a football when spring practice starts, you're not going to have enough repetitions until the end of spring practice 
to be punting and kicking and swinging at a ball the way you're capable of. So in essence, you just used the spring practice to get in shape. You didn't use the spring practice to get better. And those are the type of things that I incorporate in the training programs that can give you the extra edge, that can put you ahead of the competition. A couple things I want you to consider when you're thinking about training, when you think about doing a training program. Number one, think about D to the third power, and that is decisions determine your destiny. You only get one chance to train yourself, one chance to be the best you can be. The training program is absolutely the most paramount thing that you can make a decision on. The thing over the period of years, these 25 plus years that I've been involved coaching it directly, uh, and then the years that I've, I've spent being an active punter and kicker, uh, I can tell you that the thing that I've seen that separates the talent, that separates people who go on from being good high school, college to pro kickers is the training program. Most people don't do enough repetitions to reach their full potential. That's how important the training program is. Most people don't do the right drills, don't do the right skills. And then as I mentioned, they don't do them with an evaluation of each practice. See, that's exactly what we do when we train our football players, or that's exactly what coaches do when they train their athletes. They take that practice and they plan the practice. And then they have evaluation tools. We film the practice, we watch what errors we made, and we go back and fix it. So as a coach, I've applied the same principles to punting and kicking. That is, have a plan, have an evaluation of the plan, and that's each practice, and then go back and see how we performed and continue to make yourself better. That's the expertise as a football coach that I brought to punting and kicking and training in the same way. The other principle that I want you to consider is you never stay the same. Every day you either get better or you get worse. And today what happened to you? In other words, if you're just saying, well, I'll go out and punt or kick today, then you're just hoping that you get better. And see, hope is not a strategy. You have to have a plan that, that each day you can get better. Because if you don't, then you're going to get worse. But you never stay the same. So the plan, the training program, will prepare you for success. If you're very interested in, in the training program, you simply have to go to www.billrennerfootball.com and you will see logos for these books in seasons, the off season, and then the college spring punter training program and it will provide you with the information that you need to order them and start the training program. My email is on there, you can contact me and I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you reach your full potential. I hope you're interested in, in the training programs and I know you'll reach your full potential and have the success you want to have, but it'll only come if you have a good structured, well thought out training program. That's what my training programs can do for you.